struggling to finish that research paper that you've been working on for months? This is really frustrating because you need several papers in order to finish your PhD or to be able to advance your career as a researcher. And these papers must be novel and impactful and published in really, really good journals. But every week of delay risks that somebody else might publish very similar work, which means that you won't have a novel and impactful paper and you won't be able to publish it in a really good journal. That's why being able to write and submit your paper to a really good journal fast is very, very important. And in this video, I reveal five simple hacks that will allow you to write your paper and submit it in just 48 hours. These hacks will make writing your paper so easy and so fast that it will feel like cheating. Just like it did for hundreds of our clients, such as Wei Zhang, who submitted two papers and her PhD thesis in just six weeks of applying these hacks. Before I show you how you can write your paper in just 48 hours, how is it possible to accomplish several weeks of hard work in just a weekend? Well, first of all, research shows that a typical knowledge worker, such as a researcher or a PhD student, actually does real work for only 2.3 hours every single day. And on top of that, they get interrupted every 10 minutes by distractions such as emails. Other studies also show that it's possible to increase your productivity by 400% without working more hours. So if instead of just doing 2.3 hours of real work every day, you work for 10 hours and you're able to increase your productivity by 400%, that's an eight times improvement over a typical PhD student or researcher, which means that in one hour of work, you would be doing the same amount of work that another PhD student or researcher would do in eight hours, which means that if you do 20 hours of work over two days, that's the same as somebody else working 160 hours, which is basically four full working weeks. That's how you can write a paper in just a weekend. So how do you achieve this in practical terms? Well, let me show you five simple hacks that will allow you to write your paper in 48 hours and submit it to a good journal. First of all, have you ever tried focusing on writing your paper but kept being pulled away by your mind? Don't forget to answer the email. Pick up the child from the kindergarten today and finish preparing the lecture for tomorrow. All these tasks that are pulling your mind away are called cognitive load. And the higher your cognitive load, the less productive you will be. And your chances of finishing your paper in a weekend are basically zero. So you have to clear your cognitive load before you start writing your paper. Make sure you wrap up any loose ends. Make sure you finish all pending tasks, respond to emails or messages, and let people know that you will not be available for the next 48 hours. This will put your mind at ease and also letting everybody else know will diminish the number of interruptions and distractions that might pull you away from your important work over the next 48 hours. And if you can't wrap up all the loose ends and finish all the pending tasks, well, write them down somewhere and put a clear date as to when you're going to finish that particular task. This will also put your mind at ease and allow you to focus on writing over the next 48 hours. And then also you can try to delegate some tasks to other people and then minimize or eliminate completely any decisions that you will have to make over the next 48 hours. This means, for example, preparing all your meals before. This means choosing your clothes before the day starts so that you save all that mental energy for writing the paper rather than waste it on unimportant decisions on unimportant tasks and that contribute to your mental clutter. But clearing your mental clutter and minimizing the cognitive load on its own just isn't enough 
to write a paper in 48 hours. Have you ever tried writing a paper or doing a very difficult task after a bad night of sleep or when you're feeling very tired? No matter how good a writer you are, your progress will be very, very slow. Apart from clearing your cognitive load for writing the paper and getting your mind ready for writing the paper in the next 48 hours, you also need to get your body ready for writing the paper in the next 48 hours. How? Well, first, make sure that you get at least eight hours of sleep. Not enough sleep has been shown by numerous studies to increase fatigue, decrease productivity, reduce your ability to focus, and hinder your ability to communicate which is everything that you need in order to write a really good paper and publish it in a really good journal. So do me a favor and please make sure that you get at least eight hours of sleep, not just one night before, but all the days and preferably all the weeks leading up to those 48 hours of writing a paper. Another good way to get your body ready for writing that paper in a weekend is taking walks in nature. Studies show that being in nature increases your creativity, which is very, very important for writing a really good paper. Other tips are doing light exercise, getting a massage, jumping into a sauna. They can all help you to get your body ready to write your paper in the next 48 hours. So now you're internally ready to write your paper in a weekend. Your mind is ready, your body is ready. But unless you get externally ready for writing the paper, you will never ever finish it in 48 hours. You see, an average knowledge worker, such as a PhD student or a researcher, gets interrupted at least 10 times every single day. And it takes about 20 minutes to refocus your mind and enter the focus state again after each single interruption. So what you need to write the paper in 48 hours is an environment that completely eliminates or minimizes as much as possible all those negative interruptions from the outside. Studies show that just the mere presence of a phone in the same room, even when that phone is off, and even when that phone does not belong to you, can reduce cognitive performance. So switch off your phone and leave it somewhere else and forget about it. This also means absolutely no emails and no messaging. Let everybody else know that you will not be available for the next 48 hours because you will be writing your paper. And if you're worried what your colleagues might think, well, just turn the autoresponder on, just as if you were going out on an important conference or maybe going on holidays, so that when people message you, they get an automatic message back saying that you're writing your paper and you will respond in the next 48 hours. Finally, make sure you can't self-sabotage your focus. This means blocking any unwanted apps on your laptop using apps such as Freedom so that you cannot physically use them. And also keep a notebook next to yourself so that whenever distracting thoughts come to your mind, you can write them down in your notebook and then quickly refocus on the writing task at hand. With all that in place, you're both internally and externally ready to write your paper in the next 48 hours. But unless you do this next hack right, you won't write anything at all. To illustrate this, think of writing the paper like going on an important trip abroad. You need your passport and any necessary visas, you need your ticket, uh, you need the right clothes, you need the taxi to the airport. It's the same thing with writing the paper. You need everything to be ready beforehand. Your data needs to be analyzed and your figures and tables need to be ready. You also need to be clear on what that data actually means. You need to ha have read all the necessary literature and you should have your notes from that literature ready and organized. This way you can ensure that for the next 48 hours, what you're actually doing is writing the paper and you don't have to go back to the data to understand it. You don't have to go back and read some papers to find more information. This is really, really important if you want to finish your paper in a weekend. Which brings us to an absolutely key element. 
You see, for most researchers and PhD students, writing a new paper is like going on a different trip to a different place every single time. All the sites are new, uh, the street names are unfamiliar, you don't know where you're going or how to find the best landmarks in that city. Now, don't get me wrong, it might be a fun and an enriching trip, but it's also a slow trip because inevitably you will get lost many times. Instead, if you want to pull off writing your paper in 48 hours, it needs to feel like taking a trip to a very, very familiar neighborhood that where you've been before, maybe a neighborhood where you've grown up and that you know inside out. You know all the shortcuts and all the detours. You know every street corner and every street name. And that trip is still fun and you can visit your favorite places. And it's also a much faster trip. So writing a paper needs to feel like that second trip, a visit to a familiar neighborhood. So what you need is a proven template for writing your paper. Think of that template as a map. It needs two key elements. It should first have the exact structure you need to follow in the paper. This is like the roads and the main landmarks in a city. Second, you also need the exact language that published researchers use in the different sections of the paper. This is like the names of the streets and the names of the landmarks in that place that you're going to. Once you have both, writing a paper really feels like cheating. So how do you create such a proven template? Well, basically, you have two options. First of all, you can analyze five to ten papers from top journals in your discipline. How are they structured? What language do the researchers use to express the research gap? How do they write the conclusions? And then by analyzing those papers, you start creating a map and a template. And then as you write and publish more papers, you also refine that template to make it better and better and better. Until every time you write a paper, it really feels like cheating because you're going into a familiar territory, into a familiar neighborhood. Now here's the second and the easy option. I've already done this hard work for you. Better still, I've tested this template with over 400 PhD students and researchers at the Published Researcher program. And it works regardless of the field that you're in. And you can download this free template by heading to our free published researcher community. And the link to that is in the description below. So these five steps are guaranteed to help you to write your paper in the next 48 hours. But if you really want to make an impact with your research, advance your career, maybe get tenure, what you need is a proven system to write and publish papers regularly in top Q1 Scopus Index journals. Because if you continue relying on last minute 48 hour sprints, this will drain your energy so much and it will make you feel stressed. So in this next video, I show you the exact system that we use on the Publish Researcher program that allows you to publish three or more papers every single year in Q1 Scopus Index journals. So watch this video next.